up what up welcome back to another video guys look at this beauty right here this is literally my future bike right here as looking at it so hopefully we can make that happen this year we're out here at garden state harley davidson it is a beautiful freezing cold day high of 28 degrees out here today and look who we got jerry the coolest white guy i know so we're gonna be doing an in-depth review on this 2021 Road Glide Special. This thing right here is beautiful, as you can see. Just immaculate, man. I think if, if Harley Davidson got anything right this year with the uh, with that launch press, it was the the Road Glide Special. I, I gotta say, it's just magnificent. It's beautiful. It's just perfect. It's just wow. And just to show you guys real quick, I am gonna put it next to this uh road glide limited ultra limited right here just to give you guys a little side comparison um i know a lot of people uh they ask for similar stuff like that so i did it with the street glide and i'm gonna do it with the road glide as well um so we're gonna start with the uh with the road glide special this bike is going to run you around twenty six thousand dollars this paint option alone is gonna run you another thousand dollars on top of that after freight and uh you know deliveries and all those uh fees and everything you're looking at a base price of thirty thousand dollars for this specific bike right here that's not including taxes right so yes a uh, really really high amount of money when you compare it to let's say the regular road glide which is you know it's going to start around twenty one thousand dollars but real quick let's talk about what's going to be the big difference from the road glide standard which is around twenty one thousand dollars is going to be twenty six four thousand dollar difference that's going to give you the 114 engine on here as you can see the standard comes with the uh, 107 you're gonna have this beautiful designed nice engine guard right here the other one comes with a bigger engine guard um i went over all those little details and specs with the street glide video um but just just to give you guys a a little touch right now um you're gonna have the uh, stretch bags on the uh, special right here, as you can see, pretty nice. So you can see the notation right here, the exhaust pops out in the back and it does stretch all the way inside. There is space in there. Now the special is also gonna come with these beautiful wheels right here, as you can see, very, very nice. All blacked out look. I, I love the all blacked out look on this bike. Just beautiful. Now, obviously, this being a bagger, you do have the options of having these nice storage bags in the back. Color matches to the bike, obviously. Very nice. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. Now, the fairing. Probably one of my favorite things about the Road Glide. This shark nose fairing is just so distinctive. So, so nice. The characteristics of it are just immaculate. If you look, at, if you look close at the lines from this fairing, it's just super nice. It looks super aggressive. It makes the bike look mean. It just makes it look like it's doing something, just sitting there doing nothing whatsoever. You're gonna have those dual headlights in the front, which look really cool. Big fan of that. The forks in the front are uh, blacked out. Since this is the special, everything is blacked out. Dual disc front brakes, as you can see here. You got the floorboards, two up seat ready, obviously with your uh, passenger pegs here as well just a beautiful beautiful machine just so you know for 2021 also they did they make the little change from going from hydraulic clutches to cable clutches i prefer the cable clutches let's throw a leg over her let's see how it feels like when you're on the saddle so you're gonna have your gauges here as opposed to the street glide when everything is up more up uh on top of the fairing you're gonna have your analog gauges right here your fuel gauge right there and then which is pretty cool you're gonna have your that big screen right in front of you so even if you're using it for any type of navigation everything's dead on set right in the middle which which feels great now there's something about the street glide compared to this that the street glide everything's much closer so you just feel like more enclosed um one thing about this fairing is that it does seem like it's just pushed far ahead and you know you feel like you do have this big gaping gap right here between you and the fairing but it, it's good man it's it, it feels fine as you know this is the road glide so it is frame mounted so as you can see i'm turning the wheels to the right the frame stays as is as opposed to the street glide which is not 
beautiful machine for 2021 obviously we also only have one gas cap on top which is right here We've got this nice roll glide signage right here in the middle going down just beautiful we do have some storage pockets right here so you can put your phone in there to charge usb port and this side as well put a store a few things in there you obviously have your speakers to listen to music your navigation man i am in love with this bike it is a beauty 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 just to give you guys a closer look into the paint job so this is billiard red with black and then as you can see here the lining we have like an orange strip going all around it really really nice same thing on the fender towards the back and on the bags really love that touch now really quick from far away like if you just look at this bike it just looks like a cvo i feel like this deserves the name special now because before the road glide special was just identifying this bike just because it was just blacked out and it had the bigger engine but now that it's blacked out has a bigger engine has this beautiful paint job little details here and there like that nice little design engine guard it just it just screams out special now it really feels like a special like i feel like now it could really carry that name and wow what a special bike she looks what a special bike she is beautiful jerry what do you think about this 2021 road glide i like it the paint's beautiful i love the love the rims the dash i had to see in person but i like it like i was a little skeptical about that but I, like you said i think they did a great job on the paint the finish making it look more like a cbo like something special um just left to ride it that's it i guess and see you know, how it is or whatever compared to the ultra, ultra. now you used to have a uh a road glide special 2019 special, all black all black i remember that different one rims, the tank was different had the center fill but basically the same i i like this i, I like the fact that you have the gas cap here now and, and now with the center fill this i would change out to a flush yeah i, I, I would too and then some t-bars yep Saddleman. beautiful man now we have this ultra here so obviously the ultra limited guys is 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 the top bike that you would use to go on those cross-country trips you have the tour pack in the back and if you if you're gonna have your passenger she's gonna be him or her is gonna be really comfortable in the back um because this thing is like a, a moving couch yeah, and yeah. heated grips on here as well and then you're also you're able to adjust everything from back here with these levers and as far as volume as well and everything else this tour pack is huge so you can fit quite a few things in here very nice you got the tour pack you got the bags heated grips this one is still going to come with with the uh with the with the fuel uh opening right in the middle of the tank here but overall really nice and clean bigger windshield in the front as well and this bike is only going to cost you with all the little additional parts probably three thousand dollars more than the special different wheels as you can see here those are nice i prefer the ones in the special 10 times more but these are actually pretty nice all right so we're just gonna throw a leg over both bikes i'm gonna get on the road glide special and jerry's gonna get on the um osho limited take it for a ride let you guys know what we think about it oh beautiful I am so excited to just take this bike out today, man. So, so excited. Put her in first. I want to get your honest opinion, guys. What, what, what would you guys feel like having this view every day here when I'm doing my vlogs? this is beautiful man i love the feel of everything very very awesome ready 
Let's go. So comfortable, man. It's one thing you gotta say about these touring bikes. They are magnificent. These bikes handle so great. And people always ask and they always assume that uh, the baggage are really, really heavy. And yes, they are heavy if you are sitting still. But once you get these bikes rolling, it's very, very easy to maneuver. <laughs> oh, this feels great. This feels natural. It feels like I'm home. Super, super nice. Seating position is very good. I'm upright. My arms have a very nice slight bend to them, so I feel very comfortable on here. You can literally just, like I, I, I mentioned it before in the last video when I did the street glide, uh, the way these bikes come set up from factory is just very comfortable. They're ready just for you to go hit the road, and spend a few hours, a few hundred miles on the road and be comfortable out there and enjoy that ride. I really like this a lot. Now obviously a huge point with this big shark nose fairing here is the amount of wind coverage that you're going to be getting on those rides which is going to be a lot and there's so many aftermarket parts out there for these bikes as well as far as bars and different stuff i know memphis shades made some nice little windshield on top for this it looks really good we're gonna head down right here Meet that uh that right loop. feels it feels great <laughs> like it just feels so natural it feels like second nature just just getting on this bike and going on for a ride it just feels very natural to me i love the feeling of it these bars are really nice as well i would definitely change this out just because of just my preference and my riding style like i would do some t-bars on here relocate this up higher and yeah that that'll that alone would change the whole dynamics of this now this bike also does come with the uh rdrs package as well so for great traction on the road now i am five seven guys so i'm a little shorter um i'm almost able to flat foot this bike which is a plus for uh you shorter guys out there or ladies or around my height you guys will be fine on this bike. Now this bike also does come with LED lighting on the uh, headlamp in the front. No LED lighting yet for the uh, rear lights yet. I think that's something that they uh, should definitely look into and try to fix. Now as 
far as turning bike feels great it feel, like I said it just once you get everything on and rolling the bike feels super super light we'll do a little roundabout here yeah it feels great man really good beautiful she rides great she feels great she looks beautiful there there's nothing uh, you know what Harley Davidson I got to say you guys knocked it out the park with this one let me just show you guys how she looks like with the lights on LED lights in the front gorgeous now the big question is are you gonna go ahead and get yourself a special spend around thirty thousand dollars on it or just get the road glass standard and at the tax and everything you might be spending around 25 24 that's uh that's a question that you got to answer for yourself same bike with a lot of different little little specs on this one right here me honestly i, I would honestly i go four thousand dollars more in and i get all the extra stuff that this bike comes with with that, we'll go over it again. You got the stretch bags, you got the 114 engine, which is only gonna be a little like around 10% more than the 107, but more power. You got this nice designed engine guard on here, beautiful paint job, you got everything blacked out. Just beautiful. And you're gonna get also with that the uh, these all blacked out rims here, as you can see. The standard obviously comes with everything chromed and uh, also the wheels frame wheels beautiful all right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch and we're gonna head back jerry's gonna hop on the road glide special and i'm gonna ride on the limited this is gonna be my first time ever getting on the limited so i want to give you guys my uh, first time impressions on it which is gonna be pretty cool i've been on a road glide before but but never limited so this is gonna be very very different for me all right let's hop on this floating couch gotta be I got, this is a thing i gotta like i'm like wait a minute how am i gonna swing over because i usually make sure to lift my legs up really high not to touch the bags and everything but it's like i got this couch behind me here uh, so you gotta be extra careful okay so this is gonna be this feels this already feels a bit much heavier definitely feels much heavier Alrighty. Yeah, Alright, so this this definitely feels a lot more plush. And that's something I, I didn't mention about that. What was was just the plushness. Oh, oh my god, these heater grips. <laughs> I got my heated gloves on right now. And um I, I got them on a medium. And as soon as I put my uh, my hands on this, like I feel these heated grips on here right away, and they feel amazing. Wow, definitely a plus. I wasn't expecting that. But going back to the uh, the Road Glide Special, as far as suspension on there, it feels great, um, and the seat feels very very plush. But the seat on here on this Limited, wow. The Limited, uh, I don't know something. I feel like I'm. I'm hugging the tank a lot more. I guess it's it's because the the way the seat is, um, the seat pushes you up a bit more. Um, and I feel like I'm literally right on the saddle. Feels great. And this big windshield here in the front, obviously giving me an extra amount of uh, wind protection. A lot more than the uh, Road Glide. It feels very different though. Same bike, but so, so different. Bro, this feels very different. Very different. And the heater grips, oh my God, they're amazing. <laughs> they feel great. I might have to, yeah. I, I get people telling me all the time, they're like, you know what? Once you get heater grips, you would never go back again. And now and now I know what they're talking about. 
Oh, this feels amazing. Let's see how this feels in the corners. Oh. Very good. Feels like you're just floating on by. Super surprised, man. Like, for any of you, uh, you riders out there that, you know, haven't been on any baggers, just know that these bikes, they feel great. They don't ride as heavy as they look. See, the stopping power on these rear brakes are amazing on these bikes. Because on my 2020 low rider S, it sucks. Huh? It does. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm floating away. There's no wind when you're fucking here. I'm freezing right now. It feels like a boat. One thing you should know about this limited is that the wind protection on here is amazing even for your legs with these forwards right here oh my god you're getting no wind whatsoever on your legs it feels great all right guys i think that's gonna be it if you are in the local new jersey new york area you can make your way out here to garden state harley davidson Ask for Rob, he'll take care of you. Tell him Marble Kiss sent you and that you're here to pick up your 2021 bike, whatever it is. They'll take care of you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's gonna be a lot of more stuff coming in the near future. So if this is your first time on my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And that's gonna be it, guys. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.